Driving through a busy town centre at rush hour can be difficult for a new driver, as there is usually a lot of traffic to deal with. Roundabouts in particular can be tough to negotiate, especially if they have multiple lanes. Many new drivers will need to drive themselves to and from work, and the traffic on the roads at peak periods will be much heavier than the rest of the day. In this video, we will share our tips for keeping safe on rush hour roundabouts. We always use the MSPSL routine on approach to a roundabout, whether it is rush hour or not. Using this routine ensures that we give ourselves time to complete each task correctly, which is much better than trying to do three things at once just before we enter the roundabout. Rushing a task makes it much easier to make a mistake, such as accidentally selecting fourth gear instead of second, so we always start the routine fairly early. For more detail on the MSPSL routine, Please watch our other video, Roundabouts for Beginners. When traffic is heavy, we should plan ahead as far as possible, as this will allow us time to complete all of our tasks well before we reach the roundabout. Planning ahead is much easier when we are familiar with the road we are driving on. But if we are on an unfamiliar road, then why not use a sat-nav to help us plan ahead further? This is especially important when driving in one-way systems, as there can be many lanes to choose from, which makes it easy to make mistakes. We must look out for any road signs or markings that show which lane we need to take for our destination. Sometimes we might need to use the right lane to drive ahead, or even both lanes occasionally. Spotting lane markings can be difficult if there is a queue of traffic covering them, so it is easy to find ourselves stuck in the wrong lane. If this is the case, it is better to stay calm and follow that lane than change lanes dangerously. A detour is far better than a crash. We should approach a busy roundabout at a slow enough speed to allow us to assess the traffic flow. If the roundabout has good visibility, we can approach a little more confidently as we will know if it is safe to enter well before the give way line. Here, there is fairly poor visibility, so we must approach more slowly as we can't tell if we need to give way until the last moment. If we approach the roundabout too fast, then it will give us far less time to think and will usually result in harsh braking to a stop, which could surprise following traffic. Second gear is usually the best choice to approach a roundabout, as it is flexible enough to pull away from a very low speed and then give good acceleration back up to speed. If we slow to less than walking pace, we select first gear to ensure we have plenty of power to pull away with. It is important to keep the car in the correct gear for its current speed, so that we are always ready to pull away without any delay. We try and look right as early as possible, so we can start to anticipate other traffic. At this roundabout, the oncoming traffic is blocking the black car, so it is safe to keep rolling and enter the roundabout without stopping. We must look in front of us as well though, to check the road is clear and that we keep the correct road position at all times. The 
best time to enter the roundabout is usually when other traffic is leaving the roundabout into our road, as this gives us a few seconds to pull away before the next car comes towards us. We look for other cars steering towards the exit they wish to take, as this is usually a reliable signal of where they are going. It can be difficult to see other cars indicators sometimes, and also other drivers often forget to indicate when leaving roundabouts, so watching for their road position is easier to spot in our experience. We need to know that the roundabout is definitely safe to enter, so we must see for ourselves that there is no traffic coming towards us. Our view is blocked by the bus for a moment, but once we see the roundabout is clear, we continue. Trusting the judgement of other drivers when our view is blocked can put us in danger, so if we can't get a good view before we cross the giveaway line, we stop. If we stop at the giveaway line, we need to be able to pull away promptly so that we don't get in the way of oncoming vehicles. If we are stopped on a gradient, then we like to use the handbrake to keep the car stationary whilst allowing our feet to get ready. Confident use of the accelerator to give plenty of engine power and good clutch control will accelerate the car up to speed and out of harm's way. Once we enter the roundabout, we must be careful to stay in our lane. Good lane discipline is important as it makes our intentions much clearer to other drivers and allows the traffic to flow better. On this roundabout, we stay positioned in the outer lane until our exit and leave the inner lane free for other drivers that are turning right. When turning right, we must be sure to change lanes safely before our exit. We always check our left mirror in case another car is beside us, and only indicate and change lanes if there is space. On larger roundabouts, we also check over our left shoulder as there is more space for a car to hide in, and we are driving at a higher speed. If we do see danger, the easiest solution is to complete another lap of the roundabout. When traffic is really heavy, we might find stationary traffic queuing across a roundabout. At this time of day, the traffic will continue to flow from the right for some time, so there is no point waiting for the roundabout to clear. Once we reach the giveaway line, we look to the right and wait until another driver lets us onto the roundabout. Sometimes the car will just stop and leave us space. Other times, the driver will nod or gesture to give us a signal that they are happy to wait. If there are multiple lanes at the junction, we must still check for other traffic before entering. So remember to Use the MSPSL routine on approach. Plan ahead and get into lane early. Wait until it's safe before entering the roundabout. And steer carefully to stay in lane. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.